Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm Associate Editor Jamie Wisniewski, and in this week's episode, Google measures your home solar power potential, Gecko-inspired astronaut anchors, and a new way to recharge your electric car as you drive. Google launched Project Sunroof, a side project that calculates a household's potential for solar panel output. The system combines Google Maps database of aerial images with the 3D modeling of your roof and the data it has about the surroundings of your home. This means it could take into account local weather or how much shade falls on your home from nearby trees and buildings. Once Google generates an analysis of your roof's solar potential, it then tells you how many hours of usable sunlight your roof is exposed to and how much of that is available for placing solar panels. If solar panels are in fact a good fit for your home, Google will tell you how much they'd cost if you leased them for 20 years, used a loan to buy them, or bought them outright in comparison to your current electricity bill. Google will even go as far as to include a list of solar providers in your area. Right now, Project Sunroof is only available to residents in Boston, San Francisco, and Fresno, but Google already suggested that they would take the solar power project worldwide. Physically extracting energy from roadways may soon become a reality if the UK government pulls off the test run of a promising new tool. Off-road trials of dynamic wireless power transfer technology are expected to start later this year and run for 18 months. The plan is to install the devices under test roads and in vehicles to determine if the charging could work on busy roadways. This mobile charging would solve one of the biggest hurdles to electric vehicle use, staying charged on long drives. The system has power lines connected to the coils under the surface of a road, which then transmit the electricity through the air to a receiver coil in a car. Simply driving down the stretch of a road in a properly equipped electric or hybrid electric vehicle will power up the batteries. The power transfer could potentially work for all types of vehicles, and since it goes under the road, it won't require building any contraptions above ground that could increase risks of collision or electric shock. A full charge of most EV cars at this point is about 80 miles. These ranges are enough to cover most daily commutes, but insufficient for long road trips. And so, if this actually does work, it might just change the game for long distance electric vehicle travel. Geckos are interesting little creatures. They have the unique ability to adhere themselves to different surfaces because their feet are covered in tiny hairs that allow them to repeatedly grip whatever they're trying to climb. This works because of the van der Waals forces, which says that because electrons orbiting the nuclei of atoms are unevenly spread out, they create positive and negative sides for the neutral molecule. The positively charged sides attract the negatively charged sides of their neighbors, creating a stickiness that can't be broken by temperature, pressure, or radiation. This was an interesting concept for people who work with astronauts, because the van der Waals forces require no infrastructure change to the surface being climbed and leave no stickiness behind. So they created a human version using super thin synthetic hairs that stick when they're bent. The synthetic gripper is capable of supporting about 35 pounds. They've been used in various experiments, but also recently turned into astronaut anchors as a way to attach things inside the ISS without any adhesives. But the JPL team isn't stopping there. They also think it could be used to create a robot that could conduct surveys of the outside of the space station. That particular application is being tested using the Lemus 3 climbing robot. JPL is having it maneuver across solar and radiator panels. There are a few bigger applications for the technology, but it's all still in testing now. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on ECNMag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Jenny Mooney, and this has been your engineering update. Bye. I always do that. I get the last word. Do it. Does it pick it up? Oh. Oh my god. Well, you've never had this problem before. Why are you holding your hands like that? (laughs) I feel so weird. Like you're in church. (laughs) Okay. I read that so well. Of course.